In this video, we are going to see a bone pack. Let's import the parts that we require. So, just bones and then pack going to be happen. So, we have imported bone and then bone one and then bone two. Since it is a, a part of like I have created uh, an assembly, so it is like this. So, let's remake rigid of this. Okay, and then make edit so we can create this into uh, discourage rigid. So it's pretty much easier for that way. And then let's go to property. So for the property that we need to create, let's go to assembly first. So let's import this parts as independent and import it. So as we expect, it's on right position, very right position. So I'm just going to create a reference point that we required. So let's take this as a reference point. Let's go to property. So I don't see a property. Okay, let's go to uh yeah, let's create the bone material. So I have a biomaterial, so I have bone material, which is actually uh, Crooks model. So let's see what is it. Actually, Johnson Crooks. So connectivity I have created. Like it's different as that you have the uh, uh, thermal behavior. So elasticity is given, density is given. So Johnson scope damage has been given. Actually, you can do damage evolution has been mentioned. Why displacement at pay? Okay. So which is linear one. So let's go and then assign it. So let's create a homogeneous solid section of dome and then let's create this. Done. And then we have created, defined it. Okay. So let's go to grouping tools. Uh, okay. Let's go to better. In assembly, we have created one feature called ref. And it is yes. And then let's go to part. So let's create on this part or uh, somewhere over here. So nothing else is a reference point, so it will actually or drag along with the entire model. So let's go to the property since we have seen these over here. So special grade inertia. So point mass of inertia. So let's take this and then done. Let's give inertia of 100. So it's isotropic. And then let's go to step. So as you can see this is on this is comma. So anyways, right, let it be. So start with a dynamic explicit with the timeline of 0 0.0012 with the mass scaling of a uh, definition below create which is 100 again then go for it okay yeah uh, we are good to go so let's get over here we need few output data that requires for this so first and foremost is this one uh stages so some failure on plastic models and then on uh failure fracture that they will require damage inertia so damage initiation uh, create criteria so okay so let's have those things and then let's have proceed for interaction so as per the interaction we need to create a rigid body so let's create a rigid body which is body of this which is this right done and then this is the reference node of that right we are good to go now <coughs> so let's take the load so let's create a displacement thing okay so which will be so we will actually select the bones so let's take something like this and then we want this one of these 
Let's put it on plane so that it be pretty easy. These, these, these. So it will be pretty much on this. Okay, so pretty much on the Consider that. So like, okay, done. So we are going to constrain only on the axis, the same tool, or we will consider create one more boundary condition, which is the same way, kind of the same way. So I'm just going to take that and then remove this. So make sure all the things are removed that we know required. So let's consider. This and then done. So let's actually constrain on this plane. And then now, uh, the movement of the rigid body, which is on uh, y axis. So let's create one more. So, which will be this RP that we will constrain everything except the y axis that is pretty bad and then let's pick everything is on mode left mode left nothing on these steps everyone supposed to be in this three initial let's create one initial mechanical velocity of this which is for rp with the z velocity of five zero double zero 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 Okay, then now velocity has done. So let's go to mesh. So we are going to mesh it out this part. So this is something roughly okay. So we have mesh done, and then we are going to take the bone. So which is pretty much like of uh, two point five. Let's consider this three that is pretty much better of three. So we are going to consider these for tetra. So it's just free. That's good to go. And then now mesh it out. So it will take pretty good much number of phases to complete because like multiple phases that we have gone in bones. Yeah, you can see the mesh and then it's just a dry drug. So now let's assign the part. Select the region that we want. Uh, let's, so let's take the set of alert, continue. So this is explicit that is done. And then a bone that we need to continue, so which is explode linear than we which is element deflation. Yes, okay, done with these things. So we have the mesh, right? Okay, let's go job. So just before creating job, we have the patchwork to be done. So with the model, we will edit. So you have some keywords over here. So let's go all the way down. <clears throat> yep, over here, bulk viscosity. And afterwards, uh, we have one pretty much. So pretty much. We have created one, so I'm just going to take this copy and then I'm just going to take clear over here, add after. So, add after, so it's added. Okay, so now this will be okay, and then let's start the analysis. Let's call bones, right? Okay, bone. 
continue normalization that you want and then let's start with the analysis let's open the monitor and check what happens As you see, the analysis has been completed. So, look into the results. So, we have home. Then, let's try. And then, we can see. So, it's quite pretty fast. So, let's reduce the speed and let's see. So, that you can see how it's actually damaging the parts that will be spectacular so let's actually for instance i'll just take this off so actually you can see the behavior of the bone that how it actually explodes while the impact has been applied so as you can see okay uh, can see your wireframe now hidden shading images your exteriors you can look in all that so features is that you can see So that you can see how it actually behaves. So by displacement, then you can see how it affects the prism. So we requested off. So how much actually the pressure contact has been applied to these elements? So you can see it out. So that's it. Thank you.